All right, let's get some happy game. Happy game news. Happy game news. <laughs> Chiefs beat their rivals 25 17. The Bengals on New Year's Eve. There's so much that goes into this, and there's so much emotion clearly be, like built up between you two uh, in the way these games have unfolded and the what's been at stake between the Chiefs and the Bengals over the last uh, what, four or five years. What are your initial thoughts, man? Man, I'll tell you what, man. That was a fun game to be a part of. It's probably the first first game I've had in a while where the energy felt right on the sideline, the the excitement for everybody's success, not just out there trying to do your job. And guys were making plays. Guys were comfortable out there. We we um we had a really good week of preparation, especially on the offensive side, uh, or just speaking of uh, the offensive side, um, knowing that our defense played their asses off again. Um, but offensively, it, it felt like we we caught a rhythm there. And um, yeah. and it all kind of started with that offensive line. I mean, those five guys uh, came together and made it a statement that that we were going to control the line of scrimmage. And sure enough, I mean, Isaiah Pacheco, a hundred plus yards after with a touchdown. Um, guys, the wide receivers getting in, uh, getting dirty, getting inside the uh, inside the hashes, and um, and getting some big blocks. It was just it was a fun game to be a part of because everybody just. Uh, kind of rallied together to to prove to ourselves that, that that we can do this with the guys that we got in this locker room. And sure enough, we didn't put up as many touchdowns as we wanted to, but we were moving the ball and we had our our uh, our safety net Harrison Bucker uh, just dialed in for six uh, six out of six field goals. It was just uh, it was all around fun game, man. The atmosphere was great on New Year's uh, New Year's Eve. A lot of Chiefs fans excited for this one, knowing yeah. uh, knowing that the the Bengals have, have talked a lot in the. Uh, in the past, also knowing that they're not the same team right now be due to some injuries and obviously their sure. quarterback, Joey Burrow, uh, not not being out there. But I always have nothing but respect for them. And uh, and they know that. And after the game, uh, it was cool to kind of catch up with a few guys. Um, didn't get to see my guy Orlando Brown, man. I, I miss you, big guy. I love you. Big man. He's, uh, he's forever going to be one of my favorite teammates. But, um, yeah, it was uh, it was it was a fun day, man. Well, you guys officially clinched the AFC West with this uh, win against the Bengals, their eighth consecutive division title. That is crazy. You're also locked into the three seed for the playoffs. Uh, So we'll see what you guys end up doing this week. Uh, It's also the Chiefs' ninth consecutive 10-plus win season and ninth consecutive playoff berth. Man, that's a dominating decade of football for the Kansas City Chiefs. 